It's amazing how certain noises can take us back to an earlier time in our life and make us feel a sense of nostalgia. Here are 25 of the most nostalgic bird songs and calls. Most of them focused in the eastern United States, but there are some from the west as well. First up, we have the morning dove. They make an iconic cooing noise that many people actually think is an owl, but it's very reminiscent of days playing outside as a kid. Next, we have the American Robin, and they will often sing super early in the morning, sometimes before it's even light out. Their vocalizations sound similar to cheer up, cheer up, cheerily, or variations of that, but one you will often hear in your backyard. If you live in the northern United States, you've probably heard the vocalizations of the common loon. They make a very haunting noise as well as a tremolo call. Another common backyard bird in the eastern United States is the northern cardinal. They make a couple vocalizations. One kind of sounds like cheer, 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 purdy, 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 and then a what cheer, what cheer, 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 cheer. And oftentimes when people don't know what a bird song is, one of the most common ones is the Northern Cardinal. A nocturnal species, we have the eastern whippoorwill. Their vocalization actually sounds like whippoorwill, and they will sing in the forests during certain times of the year, and unfortunately a lot of the areas have been cleared, so you may have heard these as a kid, and now they move to more remote areas. The northern mockingbird, very common in certain parts of the United States, does actually mimic other species and they have a very melodic song. The white-throated sparrow has a super iconic vocalization. It sounds like, oh sweet Canada, Canada, or some people do that same cadence with old Sam Peabody as well. The red-winged blackbird, the true harbinger of spring, sounds like they're saying conqueree, and you'll often hear this as they come back uh, after their migration. And it's one of the first things we hear in the state of Wisconsin, and it's always great to hear them, especially on marshes. You'll hear this song a lot. In the northeast, you'll have black-capped chickadees. In the southeast, you'll have Carolina chickadees, but they make the classic chickadee dee dee vocalization, as well as the springtime song that sounds like cheeseburger or hey, sweetie. And this is just a classic song you may have heard and not even known. They also make a springtime call that sounds like cheeseburger, or hey, sweetie. Next up is the wood thrush. They can often be heard in forests, making a very flute-like song that sounds like eole. Many people's favorite bird, the bald eagle, actually has kind of an interesting vocalization. It's more of like a high whistle, not as majestic as some of the other raptors, but pretty nostalgic if you've heard it in the past. Next up, we have the red-tailed hawk, which makes kind of a scream. And sometimes in movies, they'll put another raptor on and they'll have the red-tailed hawk vocalization because it is a little more majestic, but it can definitely be nostalgic 
and you probably heard it in your backyard at least once or twice. The Eastern Bluebird has some beautiful vocalizations. If you live in kind of more open areas or near open fields, you probably heard their warblings before. The Sandhill Crane makes some very classic and very nostalgic vocalizations. They were actually at the brink of extinction at one point, so it's great to hear them again, and it might take you back to an earlier time. The killdeer is another classic open field bird, and their vocalization does sound like killdeer, killdeer, but it can be pretty nostalgic. And they're still around in even urban areas. The great horned owl, one of the more common owl species, makes the classic low hooting noises. Next up, we have the blue jay making the classic JJJ vocalization, often heard around backyards. During the spring, you may hear American woodcocks making their peent vocalization, and if you've ever seen them do this, it's pretty funny. It actually like lifts their whole body up when they do it. The song sparrow makes one of the most common sparrow vocalizations. Kind of sounds like maids, 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 put on your tea kettle, ettle. Uh, but it is one of the first bird songs to probably learn, depending on where you live, because you hear it so often. The yellow warbler can often be heard in marshy areas, and they sound like they're saying, sweet, 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 I'm so sweet. The common nighthawk also makes some peent sounding vocalizations, but they're different than the American woodcock, and they can often be seen soaring overhead. So you may have heard this before, not even known where it was coming from. The barred owl sounds like it's saying, who cooks for you, who cooks for you all. This is another one of the most common owl vocalizations that you might hear, and it may bring back some memories. The gray catbird has a variety of melodic vocalizations that they make, and they also make kind of a meowing noise. The American crow makes the classic caw, caw, caw that you probably heard growing up at some point. <laughs> and finally, we have the Western Meadowlark vocalization. They're another bird that likes the open field areas and it's a little more bubbly than the Eastern Meadowlark, but this one may bring back some memories. After filming, I thought of two other nostalgic bird songs and calls that I'm adding in as a bonus. One is the Carolina Wren, that can be often heard in backyards, especially in the southeastern U.S., and the Canada Goose, which can often be heard calling overhead. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you like learning about bird songs and calls, we have a ton of other videos for you to check out. Please like and subscribe, and thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time on Badgerland Birding.